What's up everyone, it's your boy Infrared. Welcome to the Scout Report and welcome to the 12 Days of Anime. That's right, the 12 Days of Anime where myself and many others among the anime community come together to share our most favorite moments of 2016. And on the fourth day of anime, I bring to you Mob Psycho 100 Episode 12, Master Reagan 1000% baby. Man, definitely one of the most hype moments of 2016, hands down. Mainly because of where this character comes from and how he was introduced to us. You know, before this moment happened in the series, I would have gave this spot to Mob vs. Teru because that was such a big fight. That was such an emotional fight and the development that Mob as a character got in that fight was off the charts. But how can you not give a top spot to the Salt King, the ultimate con artist? A character who, for all intents and purposes, is being sold as a joke. A con man coming through with the 1000% going past our main character becoming a hundred percent badass or a thousand percent badass and going in against the claw man that was phenomenal definitely definitely one of the most enjoyable episodes of the year and mob psycho 100 itself is a very enjoyable series and Let's just talk about the Salt King Reagan because he got a lot of development as well. All the way from the first episode, this guy's a con artist. He tricks people into thinking that he has psychic powers. He, you know, basically says, you know, you paid me this fee, I'll make you feel better. But you know, you can't knock him because Mob even points this out in one episode that even though he is conning the living hell out of people, he is still making them leave with a happy face. They're still leaving satisfied even though he's not doing what he's saying that he's doing. I mean, Come on, this guy had to exercise a form demon. <laughs> like, really? But the entire time, he has always sold himself as being stronger than Mob. Because Mob is naive and he didn't know any better. But to see that actually happen, that was a feat in itself that was just absolutely amazing. As he was feeding off of the powers, the psychic powers that Mob had. And had to amplify it to make him go 1000% winning the day especially when the day was completely lost because Ma, Teru, and Risu were all done at the fight at this moment so it was just so many things that hit right with this series I love Mob Psycho 100 as a series and it is definitely going to be in the top of 2016 I think a lot of people are going to feel that way this series didn't leave you disappointed and you have to give props to one one is the same guy of course who was behind One Punch Man so for him to be doing Mob Psycho 100 as well as One Punch Man at the same time, still giving you greatness with both, man, that is just a feat to love. And I love Mob Psycho 100 more than, Mob, than One Punch Man, I'm sorry, because One Punch Man is a parody. For all intents and purposes, it is a parody. It's a very good action series, but Mob Psycho 100 shows that one can also tell a phenomenal story because look at Mob at the beginning of the season. Look at Mob at episode 12. Look at Ritsu at the beginning of the season who had... Powers that was latent and looked at where he is now, even with his turn from evil and back to when he had that fight with Mob and Mob and his, and Risu both got kidnapped. Just the development that he got to. It was just so many good things that you can bless in this series. And of course, we have to talk about that opening. Oh my God, Mob Choir going in, making count one to 100. One of the most fun things in the world. I never skipped that opening one time. Not once. I heard it the first time I was hooked and I loved it more and more so much. So much so that I made it probably a mission to try to learn the rest of the words to it. Now, I don't, don't hold me to that. I probably wouldn't know what to do it in a video or anything, but I love that opening so much. And the ending was good too. That opening definitely has to be in the top openings of the year. Love it. Love it. Love it. And Mob Psycho 100 is just as good as well. A very enjoyable series, and I'm proud to put this on my list for the 12 Days of Anime as one of my top moments of 2016. Master Reagan going in. So guys, tell me what you guys think. How did you like Mob Psycho 100? What do you think of Master Reagan? And what are some of your favorite moments of 2016? Definitely let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as there is not a shortage of content for you guys to indulge on on this channel. And especially right now with the 12 days of anime going on. So if you want to check out other people who are also participating in this event, check the links below where you have all the information that you need. Is how you can register yourself if you would like to do 
do it. There's a database with everybody participating, and there's a survival pack there that provides you with music and an intro yourself. So if you guys need an intro to use it, they got you hooked up. Shouts out to BB's World for actually putting this together. She's doing a phenomenal job. And I cannot wait to not only check out what everybody else has to offer, if you decide to enter as well, I look forward to seeing you too. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. As I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now, but you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that, so thanks for stopping by. On that note, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. It's your boy Infrared signing out. See you soon.